Well, I said last episode that I wanted to know more about Lily Ruka and her backstory, and this one's called Lily Ruka, so I'm guessing I'm going to learn more. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with Don Machi, episode 6. Last episode, we had um, the gaining of a magical power due to a grimoire we found in a tavern, which I still believe it was done by Freya. Um, then we also have Lily Ruka going through some shit. Aina trying to figure out what's going on with the Soma family. Pretty much just set up for what's going to happen and what info we're going to get in this episode is what I'm expecting. So hopefully we do. Now remember, if you guys want to support me and get early access and full length to all the shows I am watching and have watched in the past, check out that link in the description. Patreon is going to be there. That's what's going to be all that's going to be for. If you, Patreon's not really your thing and you still want to support me, if you guys could leave a like and a nice comment, it really pushes me out there in the algorithm, helps the channel out immensely. You know, we got to get more subscribers out here. Got to get more you Dapper Squad peeps over here. You guys know how it goes. With that being said, make sure to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter for the live streams and the updates. And make sure you guys click that bell so you guys know exactly when I post on YouTube. I appreciate you oh so very much. Let's hop into this Don Machi, episode six, Lily Ruka. Mm, instantly starting off with her story. And never came out. Wowzers. She had to be a support from a very young age. Just to survive. Just looking for some sort of food, some sort of money to survive. Jesus Christ. Are you serious? Even if she tried to have a nice, peaceful life outside of the dungeon? Are, really? That's horrendous. Yeah, someone who works with them all the time yet hates them. Yeah, this is gonna be an interesting change of heart. We're gonna have to. Bell's gonna be the one to do it. I know he is. The perfected stuff. How dangerous are we talking? To the bottom of your soul. Wow. So it's the crack. Yeah, it's the heroin of this fucking. Damn. That most definitely helped. I need some of this soma wine, you know what I'm saying? The perfected stuff. <sighs> How I want to be Loki. Yes, she is. Hey, she upgraded to level 6! Which someone also in the comments let me know that the levels in this, comparatively to other games and anime, are like drastically... Like, from 1 to 2, 2 to 3, because Belle started out as a 1 and she's a 5, so you know now she just went to 6. Levels are drastically increased, you know? As of right now, no. I'll be honest, she's not. But she can become trustworthy. The 10th floor? Yeah, we're going three more, an extra 30%. Yeah, 10th is a no-no. I like how they put a lot of emphasis on some of people are definitely willing to sacrifice others in terms of getting whatever they want. But I don't like this. I don't know. We fought a very large monster with it. Okay, so she really wants to get she is she has an intricate plan to get her hands on that knife Yes, he actually is but not for the reasons you think 
I like how she lights up because she's genuinely curious. Like, why does he run away from me? You know, she's a very powerful woman. What the helly hell? This is what the 10th floor starts looking like. I love games that change the design of dungeons as you get to like increment levels like 5, 10, 15, 20. But this is so much different than the cave design from just a second ago. The hell is that, a troll? An orc. I like how she just fades away. Nice cut, Bell. Okay. Good slash through. Oh my god. Oh my. That was gruesome. Nice. She threw out monster lure monster lures. What is this? Monster Hunter World? That's fucked up. Wow, she is real fucked up. Sometimes you get got, I mean. Eyes is gonna come save him again, I hope, because Aina asked that favor. But like, I thought I was gonna like Lily, man. I'm sure I will down the line, but man, I am not liking her right now. Hmm. So she was starting to feel a certain way about him, but then he met up with what's his name? Jesus Christ, that little baby orc or goblin. Looked like a goblin more than an orc, but ooh. This is what happens. She is a perm, so she never matures bigger than that child looking. Jesus Christ. Ooh. So are these three betraying him? So he's just like, I'm out of here. Did he actually die? Were there a bunch of... Oh, wowzers. Okay, well... That guy is dead. Yeah, no, it does look pretty bad. I completely understand her hate for adventures, especially seeing the adventures she's had to deal with, but, like, this is terrible. Bell's gonna be the one to say- I mean, how? He's in his own dilemma. That is some good introspection, some self-reflection at the end right there. She definitely realizes the wrongness in her ways at the end. I come on. How could you not love this man? He is able to do all of that and still save you. Yeah, this is a good cut. Hestia does know Bell very well. He is a very stubborn optimist, no doubt. He's using the blade she gave him. It's the only blade he has. The only thing he can do, does whatever he can. And this is what he was saying back at the church with her. She looks so lonely. And and I was about to say, and he knows that pain too well. I got some goosebumps from that. Come on, Bell. <laughs> he didn't even see it was eyes. He just said I couldn't see because the fog. Shout out to eyes. Saving your man again. Yeah, she needs to let this out. She's been she's been holding this in literally her whole life. Damn. Damn. She's been getting over on him from the jump. Of course he will. <laughs> no hesitation, even for a, even for a split second. Yep. I 
How can you not love this guy, man? That is true. He is pretty dumb. But he's dumb in the best way. Jesus. The voice actors are killing it for this. No joke. Just bringing me to tears. Like I said, man, I feel... I feel for Lily Ruka. That's the end, too? That was a good way to end. Sapota-san? <laughs> you still available for duty, Miss Lily Ruka? Oh, look how happy she is. That's the protector that got knocked off. Maybe, ooh, the next episode's called Eyes Wa- mm -hmm. I'm just saying. Oh, man. I wasn't expecting this to hit me so much in the feels. Like, I mean, in, in my personal opinion, like, this doesn't even make sense, but it just works in my mind. This this show reminds me of, like, a Konosuba mixed with a Rising of the Shield hero, even though both of those are technically Isekais. I mean, Konosuba, I don't think- I mean, he is transported, but it's through death. But I, I don't know. But- you know what I'm just like in the characters and the way our main character, re, you know, like it's like women. It's all women. We haven't had another male really yet, but it's like the. It's just I don't know. I can't even explain it in my mind. But if you know, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Another fantastic episode, though. Fuck all those adventurers, all those ones who were taking advantage of Lily. Just horrible. It's like giving her the worst outlook on adventures and on life. Like. Jesus, when you're that far gone and that far broken, you really, like, your trust meter is zero. Like, I mean, it makes complete sense why, you know? Like, it's like, I don't want to relate Lily to an actual animal, but it's it's in, it's in like wild animals. Like, if you saw a wild cat or a wild dog, you know, in your yard, and you try to go interact with them, they'd be terrified, you know, forced in a corner. They'd probably start lashing out, try to bite you, attack you. But that's because their trust meter is zero, you know? They've been on edge paranoid literally fighting for life their entire life and so it takes a very slow process you know to break that huge wall down and get over it but once you do they love you forever you know they're like you're like the first person in their life who actually shown them compassion and love so they they take that with everything they're just like they snatch it on up you know and so i feel like now uh and the reason maybe I said Shield Heroes that uh, Lily Ruka is going to be to Bell what Raftalia is to Naofumi, like fully, because, you know, just that kind of relationship, man. Raftalia is still best girl, obviously. You can't you can't beat her, and she wins by a landslide compared to any girl, though. That's just Raftalia. But, again, fantastic episode. Um, curious to know more. We haven't seen Freya in either of these episodes. I, mean, I love how much we're getting eyes, though. Aina, everyone else. Like, I love the the list of waifus we have in the show. I'm not mad when we switch between any of them, if I'm honest with you. But fantastic show. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. Like I must say, you know, it just, it just hits you in the feels. I'm about to go eat some food, do some chores. I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much, Dapper Squad. Catch you guys on the next one. If you guys want early access, check out that Patreon. All that jazz. Check out the Twitch. Don't forget to turn post notes on. See you guys later.